Okie dokie. Let's just pour this bad boy into my glass here and then we'll be ready to go. And see how we fare. In pan here. Okie dokie. Oops. Let's make sure we have the right window selected. There we go. Fantastic. And what can we clear out of our inventory before we head in? Potions of flight. We have the ring of flight if we need it here. Um, what else? Degeneration potions. How long have I been carting those around? That must have been most of the game by this point. Whoopsie daisies. Magic mapping can be fairly useful in pen. What else? Vulnerability. We don't really do any willpower stuff, so let's leave that by the wayside. Just free up some space here so we can pick up anything we come across in our journey. Yeah, this ring also not too, too hot, all things considered. Okie dokes. Should be good enough for now. We can always make some hard decisions once we get in there. And I guess, without further ado, let's just get ready to hop into it, shall we? Wahoobs is at 30%? Like, almost to the point where I could be casting that bad boy along with my servitor? That could be nice. But here we go. Powerful Pandemonium Lord resides here, guards the demonic rune of Zot. Ooh, so we already have access to the demonic. That's, you know, earlier when I said we have one final chance to get any of the runes here. The one exception is the demonic rune. That can be found in a few different floors throughout Pan. So we don't have to be quite so all or nothing in our attempt here at the moment. But it would be nice to get it out of the way as soon as possible. So we will definitely be looking into that. I mean, I kind of generally like to clear pan floors completely before heading on, so not too far outside of the, the usual routine here. You know what, let's not attack a bunch of Uphedibuses here. Instead, focus on what's important, like murdering all of our fellow demon spawns. I hate to do it. I hate to be a... Uh, a betrayer of my my own folks here but has to be done unfortunately needs must and all of that good stuff and fantastic not too bad of a start for us here don't like seeing the mummy that can definitely give us some some nasty effects when the curses come down but it is what it is and once again let's let's focus down this son of a gun shall we please sir if you could uh just be taken care of. We're looking exceptionally corroded here. <laughs> so let's try to wait that out, shall we? Don't demons fight all the time amongst themselves? Fair enough. In fact, yeah, I think it's kind of one of their distinguishing characteristics. So definitely a, uh, a point for that. And... Oh, do we not have any valid spaces for our servitor to come in? Looks like it here, but that's fine. We'll just finish off the encounter. At least all the corrosion is done. We're in a pretty nice little hidey hole to uh, hang out in while we recover all of our magic. Let our servitor do all the heavy lifting for taking care of our new friends as they come in. Great work there, my buddy. Absolutely brilliant. Okie dokie. There we go. We managed to fully recover. Run around. This will be... As long as we don't get into too many nasty life or death situations, this will also be a nice opportunity for us to pad our bank account a little bit here, since we have been looking a little bit light there after some less than ideal scenarios in Zod, of course. But we're in a pretty good spot now. Could be a good candidate for magic mapping, you know what? Yeah, that's a great point, and why the heck not? We have plenty of magic mapping, we're not going to be using it too, too much as we continue forward. Ah, this is like the smite vault, is it? I know a lot of times with these iron bars when it's smite vault where behind here is a bunch of smoke demons and other smiters and unfortunately they'll just rain hell down upon us as we continue to try and make our way forward in the vault. But for the time being we'll put down a nice exclusion area and then we'll just work our way through in our own, uh, in our own time here. Let's definitely get my servitor back into the mix. Great job, buddy. Thank you for the last minute assist there. Fantastic. And not too shabby. Okie dokie. 
Not a horrible start for us here so far. If we can take care of most of these summons as soon as possible. Let's see. You know what? I was trying to decide which of these two buddies we should focus, but... Okay, no less dose. Let's just reach into our pocket for some radiate there and take care of that son of a gun. And, Servitor, if you could please attack. <laughs> please. Sir. One more try. Uh, on this, buddy, if you could be so kind. No? That's cool, too. I can finish off with a final ignition here at the end of the, the day. Make sure we stay next to enemies so that we don't get any more damnation being flung our way. And there we go. Holy moly. Never a dull moment for sure. And actually, that Hellbeast reminds me of one thing that we didn't talk about with the fight against Garion, is that generally one of the dangers in Vestibule of Hell is being pushed off the stairwell mid-fight. Of course, we kind of lucked out in that regard, having a nice little cubby hole in the corner where our stairs led in. But definitely something that most characters need to keep in mind. And should be able to kill you relatively fast. Perfect. Post to pick up your birds in Northern Lion and tag Tim. You liked your tweet. Life is complete. <laughs> nice. Some good old parasocial validation. Love to hear it. And jeez Louise. Yeah, that, that damnation will get you for sure. Um, hmm. What can I do against you, my friend? You do call down and not hurl, so that's a little bit rough. But a bit of healing to help us out, and then what can I do? I guess I can launch an orb of destruction that should kill you, my friend. Jeez Louise, you'd think we'd gone Hellion Island here instead of the, uh, the Smiter's Paradise? Holy moly. Jeez, and your life's far better and doesn't need tidbits on the internet to validate your uh, your wish that they had your birds. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it one way or another, but I'm always happy to hear that people are, are in a pretty fantastic spot on their in their own right. So no complaints there, and let's just heal up in this corner. Jeez, Louise. Nothing but Hellions as far as the eye can see. No, it's weird. Fair enough. I know, parasocial interactions in light doses aren't too, too bad in my mind. You definitely don't want to get to unhealthy levels, but... Depends on the content creator, depends on the person. So many factors in that regard, but... Okay, let's find a nice little corner heal, and hey there, wizard. A boss level again might have been coming in with the raid as well but hey wizard how's it going oh hey my my run is going pretty well here i mean we're still alive we're in pan so that's nice i mean all i can really ask for we have lucidib's crystal sphere up on our spellforge server now which has been a huge blessing in terms of just being able to take care of a lot of the enemies that we come across had a few less uh, near-death experiences at the hands of my own servitor, now that they're not firing orbs of destruction off too, so that's nice. But how are you doing? How was your stream today? I'm assuming DCSS? How are your runs going? What were you up to? Also, the Amrath dates are so bad, your patient watches there, it makes you sad. I, uh, I'm not fully aware. I, I know who Amaranth is, at least I think I'm picturing the right person. But I don't know what her dates are. <laughs> so many Hellions, right? No kidding. It's been a, an interesting adventure to say the least. But okie dokie. Let's start heading towards our final vault area here. And there are Smiter friends. So one thing we can do here, we don't have a lot of digging. I could do a little bit of this action. And that at least releases all of the the smiters my way and brings them out to face me in the light of day instead of smiting me from beyond the pale here. So that should work out for us pretty well. And we can definitely heal up while we wait for all of them to come on in. As we have more damnation coming our way too though, so let's start to be 
a little bit cognizant of that, a little bit cautious of that. Shun's a date farm. <laughs> you know, not enough content creators are getting into the date farming business. It's a real, like, real missed opportunity, you know? But okie dokie, what do I do with you besides just take absurd amounts of damage? Holy moly. We have fun here, folks. Well, at least the smoke demons go down pretty dang quickly to our servitor, so that is very much a, uh, a blessing we can work with here. Fantastic. Not too shabby. A yeah, bunch of torment, bunch of smite, all that good stuff ready to completely, totally ruin our day here if we let it, but I have faith that we'll get through this in one piece. Hmm. What to do? You got killed to paralysis from a cloud of chaos and pandemonium? Oh no! Well, hopefully we managed to avoid the same fate here. There are no promises, of course. That is the, uh, the son of a gun that pandemonium is. You never know what you're gonna get. And things can definitely turn pretty rough on a dime. Do do do. Let us... Yeah, I'll step aside just so that my servitor gets in on this action. Fantastic work, my friend. And slowly but surely, we'll keep clearing out this vault as things come to investigate the, the disturbance. And in fact, one thing we could do here is a uh, quick swap to our flying ring. And let's head off into this little cubbyhole, shall we? Guess it's not quite the permanent solution that I'd like, seeing as how we don't really have enough dig to keep going in that way. It's a bit of a shame that we don't have um, access to fog in this run. But hey, we're still in a relatively safe place to just spam ignitions from, so we can do so. Once again, from relative safety. Why, hello there, my friend. Glaciate. Oof. Okay. That's definitely a rough one if they manage to, to pull that off. Otherwise, not too, too bad. At least we're not dealing with like some silence shenanigans. And I could try Luhu Dips, I guess. 24% failure rate's not great, but you know, we've found ourselves in worse situations. There's the Glaciate and Servitor, you did your best out there, kiddo. And for that, I commend you. Let's see, your resistance is here, shall we? Very resistant to fire, resistant to electricity, poison, and cold. So no acid resistance, so we could keep going down that route. Electricity was in that list, right? Yes, indeed it was. Hmm. I'm trying to think about Glaciate here. We're currently at two pips. I think that's like 66% resistance, so that's 50 damage on Glaciate, plus the fact that we'll be in ice clouds to contend with. Let's keep launching some some acid your way, shall we, my friend? And then to kind of wrap it up, we'll uh, get you to blink out of here, which is less than ideal. Whoops, daisies. Let's potion petition. I'm looking for, I would like resistance and healing. Okay. Let's not accidentally take any steps or anything here, shall we? <laughs> oof, oof, oof. Didn't think that you'd go with the double glaciate play. That's less than ideal, my friend. So we could blink into a corner here. Man, you were just so close to dead, so I wasn't too, too worried about it going in. Speaking of dying to clots and pandemonium, no kidding. But if we blink, maybe even back here, Puts us in a wee bit of safety here, at least enough that we can potion petition, we can quaff down uh, heal wounds of the more natural variety, and Crystal Spear does manage to take out our new friend. Fantastic. Hide me in a corner, please. And there we go. Holy moly. Slightly less than ideal. Definitely a little bit sketchier than I would have liked, but hey, here we are. Good to go now. 
and not the end of the world at the end of the day here. Just exactly, very calculated, just a, a sprinkle of excitement, you know, keep things interesting, keep things exciting. But okay, let's try to just waltz on past here. Fantastic. And there we go. We get our demonic rune. Just wonderful. And that's already one rune of pan down. It's a good start. It is just a start though, and we do have to get out of here in one piece. So what do we want to do with all of our friends here? Oh, okay. I was not paying nearly enough attention. Didn't see the Hellion coming in. That could have been absolutely horrendous. Whoopsie daisies. It rope in the viewer somehow. You nailed it right on the head there, of course. Of course. Definitely no incompetence going on here whatsoever. All very, very intentional. And really just more skilled than uh, completing things easily when you think about it. But okie dokes. You know what? I think I'm kind of over trying to deal with these smoke demons so let's just get the heck out of dodge we don't need to worry about picking up every last penny here and in fact let us just explore the last little bit of the level here shall we not too shabby can get a little bit extra gold here recover from the expenditures to beat the pan lord maybe even find some nice consumables while we're at it no i wouldn't complain i wouldn't hate that that's the plan anywho, and we'll see how she goes. Hopefully the next floor has a few less Hellions. You'd think we, we came into Hellion Island, but it is what it is, and I guess it's not the end of the world, seeing as how we're still alive. So, can't really complain too, too much. Jeez Louise, I say as I just take a series of horrendous hits from another son of a gun Hellion. And okie dokie. Why are we continuing to explore in that that same area character? <laughs> I think we were in Abyss with the months of backtracking that we've been doing across the way. But okay, we're in a half decent spot for dealing with Hell Sentinels, so that's kind of nice. And with you, my friend, we'll just walk away and let our servitor do all of the work. Fantastic, keep it up. Uh, you know what? And once again here. Let's, let's not risk ourselves unnecessarily. We can just blast you from afar. And that should be perfect. Fantastic. So, okay. Let's uh, maybe just think about heading on to the next level here. Again, for anyone who hasn't explored Pan themselves, a couple of interesting things to note. Special levels for each of the named Pan Lords. The demonic levels, which we've kind of talked a bit about here. But most importantly, very rarely do you get an... an an exit out of pan generally you're just continuing to go to new areas of pan to new areas of pan to new areas the only ways out are finding a gateway to the abyss distortion doesn't count you have to find an actual gateway and then upon escaping the abyss you'll be right back up top in the dungeon where you left off or very rarely you get full-fledged exits which are definitely uh real handy so we'll hope to find those if things start to go a bit downhill because they're one of the yeah few kind of true safety nets that you can find yourself in until then we'll of course just have to make do as much as we can in the interim okay come on spellforged buddy just do your your magic work here please and thank you hmm I do want to keep the ignition going just to take care of the, the shadow demon summons always a bit of a pain in the rear here and that will hopefully give us just enough breathing room here to relax rest up heal from our our troubles anytime you're transported through a gateway in the abyss or in pan rather you also are placed in a completely random part of the next area so you never know when you'll be dropped just directly into a scary pan lord's lap or when you'll have a nice entryway that's a walk in the park so always a bit of a, a roll of the dice there hoping to figure it out before getting killed but you never really know what pan has in store for you and i feel stronger did you just mutate the mutation off of me my friend 
Thank you, I think? Holy moly. They should hire more Nakoxex like that son of a gun. Absolutely fantastic. But okie dokie. Keep exploring through the rest of the level here. I guess we could continue on to the next one. There's no real benefit to us hanging out here. And in fact, it's potentially more of a detriment to us hanging out here than anything else. I know, I am a sucker for exploring pen floors. They're just so much fun. <laughs> You know, it's rolling the dice every time, having a good time. Mastery in life and death was chief among your early pursuits. <laughs> and good sportsmanship. You know, you gotta keep your your head in the game. Keep positive out here. Make sure you're respecting all of your uh, arch enemies that you come across. But okay, we'll continue moving forward here. Looks like just another kind of standard pan area. Not super happy with who we're coming across early on here. This could turn real nasty real fast. Get off a few more ignitions before checking out. Yeah, you know what? That's what I was afraid of. And you do have Lightning Bolt, my friend, which is not something I'm exceptionally well suited for. So let's dip into our pockets for some early spell power here or utility whatever we end up getting which a little bit of everything here with haste might and resistance to help against that electrical damage that will just surely be coming our way in no time here otherwise probably just going to keep blasting with some ignitions you are very resistant to fire unfortunately so that's less than ideal shall we say but not the end of the world and spellcasting hits 18 so where do we want to go next more fighting is probably a good idea let's just get some more health under our belt maybe some more evocations seeing as how we've started to uh to rely on these a bit more as we've continued forward in the run and we could go for stealth especially in pan here sometimes it's nice to not get immediately swarmed Something unseen over the door. I feel my power slipping away. Do you have anti-magic? Do you have anti-magic? Excuse me? Absorbing vital energies. Huh. So I don't know what sucked us off there, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. We'll just dip into our pockets for a bit of petitioning of the potion variety here and do some blasting. We do take care of our own friends a little bit, but probably worth it in the long run here. Even you, Spellforce Servitor. You're not immune to radiation. How the heck are you still firing on all cylinders, my friend? Oof, oof, oof. So let's bring the Servitor back in once more. And hopefully can get some more good work going on here. I'm at the very least hasted, so we have half decent damage output, and that resistance very much playing a, a critical role here in our survival. Coming up to regen 11 also is crazy amounts of healing. Gotta love that mutation. And there we go, we managed to get out of here in one piece. Spending a little bit of cash, but you know, how much is your life worth to you? Definitely heck of a lot more than 2,000 gold, so I'm more than happy to see that here. And then my friend and I can just blitz our way through all the demons as they come in here. Wonderful work, my servitor pal. Oh, that is quite the, the collection though. Hello my friends, come one come all. Make sure that Hellion dies as soon as possible. Not because they're that much of a threat in this large of a group. Oftentimes, they'll be too scared of collateral damage to really get much good work in, but still would rather just take care of them. A hasted Hell Sentinel? No, thank you. I am not a fan. Not even a little bit, if we're being honest with each other. Um, hmm. So what do we wish to do here? Could continue running and let our servitor hopefully get in some pot shots on the way. Don't have great vision in the zigzag corridor, so I don't know how much good that will do for us here. Let's give it a shot. Actually, there we go. Our servitor gets despawned, but 
the Hell Sentinel coming in first here does mean that our servitor takes care of them, so that's fantastic. And we'll just start assisting with our servitor pal launching in damage as much as we can. Mighted Balrog of Morgoth. Morgoth? Whoops. <laughs> but hey, there we go. Not too shabby here. We can probably tab fight our way through the rest of the encounter, and that is just wonderful. Let's run around and pick up all of this gold, shall we? Make some bank here in our final moments. Yeah, it's these friggin' chaos buddies. Call of Chaos is what's causing all these wacky and wonky effects to take place so hopefully we can take care of this son of a gun before they keep hasting and mighting everyone to their heart's content and in fact spell for servitor you can just come out once again here my friend great work just beautiful okie dokie and onwards and upwards we go I wonder how much more of this floor there is. It's always weird when you get shunted right into the, like, pan vault. Never know what to do with myself, because generally that's where the, like, exits to another pan floor lies. So you can kind of just kill the pan lord and skedaddle if you really desire. And in fact, it doesn't look like this pan floor is going to have a lot to deal with here. So maybe out of here sooner than we might think. You know what, let's be a little bit cautious of over-tabbing against a fiend of any flavor or variety. Not exactly ideal, but there we go. Let's get ready to head on, head on up, head on out, shall we? Still hovering around the like 9,000 gold, so that's not too, too shabby. Looks like just standard Abyss Fair once again here. No special floors quite yet, but I'm sure we'll get to them relatively soon here. You know what? No. I'm just not gonna not gonna deal with you, my friend. Unless we happen to see some goods. You know, a potion of curing? Not worth it. I'm trying to think of what might be worth it. Most things, I'm kind of of the opinion right now that meh. <laughs> Bunch of caged ghost moths. Sounds like a real pain in the rear here. And you son of a gun. Pretty soon here we'll be able to be launching Hudib's Crystal Spears to help out with our servitor and then our damage output becomes ridiculous. I'm kind of hoping that we have that a little bit closer before we have to deal with too many of the Pan and Hell Lords. So in that respect, maybe we do want to continue training some of our magic. Also check, after Conjuration's hit 26, where are we sitting on Firestorm? 38% is still a ways off, so we could max out Conjuration's pretty easily. Could keep Spellcasting coming up in the background, I guess, as well. That's always an option. And decide how much, how much do we want it? Ah, uh, you are invisible, my friend, I see. I see why our, our Spellforge Servitor is struggling so much now. Ooh, and did you get freed by like a, a Cacodemon or something? If so, it's kind of ideal, honestly. <laughs> I don't have the digging charges to deal with your, your cages, so... If you want to handle all of the hard work for me, don't mind if you do. Let's take a look at you, my friend. Bolt of Fire, no problem. Some greater demon, no real problem. Abjuration, kind of a pain in the butt. But not the end of the world. Especially if you just almost instantly die to the Hoot Crystal Sphere. Holy moly. Is that even legal? Jeez, Spellforce Servitor. You need a license on that son of a gun. But not too shabby. I will gladly take it. And beautiful. Now let's let's officially take a peek here, shall we? Nope. My favorite ghost moths. Still just chilling. Still just hanging out doing their thing. I guess the rest of these buddies just came from randomly about the floor. Interesting. Well, on this floor, if we find a gateway out, we're probably just going to leave immediately, seeing as how too many invisible enemies means our servitor is not having a very nice field day here. 